First swing where we tipped the alignment rod, right, and mm -hmm. that one all come from the same thing for you. It's the quick transition, right? It's the body opening up early and the arms drifting and the body going. Okay, and right there, the arms are behind you. Your transition's gonna get a little steep. You're gonna have to release it to catch up, and that's okay. what goes on, okay? So I really want you to make sure you turn that club back there with your body, right? The club head, Alexander, moves at the same pace that my left shoulder turns. Yep. And right now, your hands and club get quick, a lot quicker than your left shoulder, and the body gets out in front, okay? So really pace that back swing, we call it, making sure you use the left shoulder to pace the club on the way back, all right? Little pause up there and then give it a rip. Way better. Guys, we can have different rhythms of swing. We can have a Brant Snedeker, we can have, you know, a, a Cameron Young or a Hideki. But the key is this, that everything is moving together and it's moving by the left shoulder. Okay, so when the club and hands start to move quickly at a different pace than the shoulder, that's when we're going to start to see things get out of sequence, not connected, right? The hands, body, and club not working together, okay? So we really want to make sure that the left shoulder pushes back and it really paces the golf club to the top of the swing. And then you're locked and loaded and you can transition, okay? The Hideki drill you just did, right, is a great one for this. And what you're gonna see is this. When you guys do the Hideki, there's, there's a big difference. And I did a video on this a long time ago. When I get in here and Adam or I do a Hideki and we use our core and our body to move the club to the top, the club will just stop up there, okay? When we get a player like Alexander right now, unless he's very disciplined and he goes to do a Hideki, or any player where the hands and club move quicker, you're gonna see a bounce at the top, okay? So again, your ability to pace the backswing is a direct relation and your ability to make a complete backswing. Too quick, no good, right? When it moves up there together and just stops, boom, we get to move through really cleanly, no manipulation needed whatsoever, okay? So let's go ahead and get a couple of those going. Good, left shoulder's moving everything, okay? Good, and a lot of people do this, a lot of people do this. The Cali stop, right, the rolling stop. Getting up to the top and just moving back through. Getting up to the top, continuous motion. No, we're gonna turn it up there, one, two, okay? We're gonna let it pause and let it collect up there, boom, and then rip it. Good, there we go, there we go. Again, same thing. Just gotta feel like a Hideki make. Good, boom. Okay. <clears throat> Turn it up there, pace it with the left shoulder. Oh my. It felt like you were up there for how long? Three seconds? Uh. Right? A long time. Yeah. <laughs> As we get this going in this pause drill, it's about what we're feeling and the sequence of the finish, guys, okay? I'm sure you've heard us talk about the horse race, right? Where we've got a horse track and the body, the inside horse, is only moving a little bit, eight or 10 inches, but the hands, the outside horse, are moving about five feet, okay? So our goal in the golf swing is to make sure that at impact, the inside horse and the outside horse have a photo finish, okay? Because the outside horse had so much further to go to the finish line, they better speed up in the downswing, okay? And so as I watch Alexander make these, these um, Hideki drills, right, and these pause drills, the connection of the backswing on that one was fantastic. We turned it up there, dude. It was one of the best I've ever seen. Right up there, picture perfect, okay? But what happened on the downswing? The inside horse won the race, okay? And that looks like this, boom. Notice how the club finished late, my body finished first, okay? If we really looked at that, boom, my chest is in front, my hands are behind, no good. I'm going right, left, heavy, or thin, okay? So when we do that and we get up to the top, we wanna make sure that we understand that the hands and the club are gonna accelerate past us. They're gonna feel faster than the body's rotation, especially with one of these shorter clubs. When the sequence is correct and the outside horse can get that photo finish, the energy, boom, finishes up there, okay? Everything just stops this way. It's in front of you. When it's not, it comes around late and nothing's holding on and you'll see that club get to your back, okay? Good, rip it. That a boy, again, keep the feet quiet. Even faster with the hands. With good wedge play, you wanna feel like you're punching the golf ball with your hands, not hitting it hard with your lower body. That a boy, that was it right there. 
One more time, turn it up there, a little pause, rip it. Awesome, dude. Hit a couple like that, so much better. Mm. That a boy, way different right there. Could you feel it? Yeah. What does that feel like to you? Explain those two. Feels like when the second swing, when the, the uh, arms clear and it come back in front of the body that it just pulls my right foot up as opposed to the first one where I felt like I was kind of pushing off the right foot to get them down. Absolutely. It felt as if the, the hands naturally from here just pulled the right foot. And that's really what it's going to be like, right? Yeah. You know, we'll have, we could talk for days and days on footwork. Um, you know, Alexander, we did a little bit of work on that yesterday and we talked about just, you know, again, the hands, the outside horse are what's going to pull this up. So many people use their right foot inefficiently. So many people push off the right foot like this. The hip, the knee, everything comes up and forward and the heel comes up. I want you guys to think about Scotty Shuffler. Famous footwork in golf, right? Everybody talks about it. Oh, it's wild, it's all over the place. But think about where it goes and where his weight goes every time. His right foot goes back because for him to rotate, he's actually pulling on his right shoe and into his right heel. He's pushing off of his right heel up into his left toe, okay? You guys can really feel this if you were to sit on a swivel chair and you were to put your feet on the ground and you would just go right and left foot, okay? What do I feel in my right foot when I want this chair to swivel this way? Just my right foot, what you're gonna feel is a little pull in the glute off of the left heel. What you're not gonna do is push this way. You push this way, your chair's not swiveling, <laughs> okay? You go this way and whoop, all of a sudden it swivels. What am I gonna feel in the front foot? Well, the front foot, for my left pocket to go back, I need to feel like my left foot is pushing forward, okay? And again, where do most people end up on the left foot? Up here. If we push up here, this left pocket ain't going back. So I get you guys, you know, you have a dinner table, an office chair, throw your feet in the ground, put some awareness with your feet in the ground and what each foot has to do independently and then collectively together to make your body rotate. That's gonna be good footwork, right? When that happens, the foot gets pulled up, right? Versus shooting up in front of us, okay? This is why Scotty, every time he loses his balance, where does it go? It goes backwards, okay? It doesn't go forwards like that, all right? Really good, bud. So we got the seven iron out. We're just gonna be a smoother tempo to the back, a little bit more patience in transition. And again, you're just trying to keep that right foot down and let your hands and arms pull your body through. Lovely right there. Yeah, Good. first two were, I think the hand, I was focusing on this too much that I wasn't, I was like backing up a little. Yes. Which is why they're thin. Yep, absolutely. As opposed to getting the weight still going here. Backing like around, right? Yeah, here's what really, you know, what allows you guys to keep your chest down through the golf ball is just what we talked about, the hip rotating. So when the left hip goes backwards and our right foot stays down as we rotate and doesn't come up, my chest will stay down through the golf ball. Okay, when a player moves forward or forward towards the target or forward towards the golf ball, that's just gonna be the opportunity for the player to stand up. So, you know, all the questions we get out there about early extension, we're up at the top of the swing, we're trying to push our right hip back and then open up our left hip, keeping our foot on the ground and keeping our hips underneath us as we go through the golf ball versus there, right? That's going to be the auto stand up right there, yeah. okay? Mm. Much better, much, much better. If we look at that video, everything is going to collect at the top together okay. at the same time, right? Versus the, the arms finishing. At Forzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.